Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am doing another throwback look for you Twin Peaks fans. If you were a fan of this show, comment down below. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know how to pronounce it actually. I tried watching interviews and they never said her name. I'm sorry, but I think it's like Madchen, but I really don't know. So I don't want to butcher it. So I'm not really going to be saying her name, but how many of you guys were fans of the show Twin Peaks? I mean, it's on Hulu right now. I'm not really sure where else it is and where you can find it, but I know I watched it on Hulu and it's a crime mystery show, but also she was a model in the 90s and she just became more of an actress later down the line. She was she made an appearance in Dawson's Creek. She's also the fox in Gossip Girl, the one that is sleeping with Nate Archibald. Uh, I think it's in season two and i don't know but yeah she's absolutely beautiful and she was a staple in the 90s so you know me i'm always giving these throwback looks a chance and she is definitely very beautiful and a forgotten actress i would say myself i mean i don't know about you guys but i just feel like some people do get forgotten and i'm here to refresh your memory on nostalgia so yeah so basically i am just as you saw, I am just doing my foundation and my eyebrows. I'm kind of making them a little more dramatic than I usually have them because um, I can't say her name. I'm not going to say it, but because her, <laughs> her eyebrows are really thick, especially in the 90s. She had these beautiful, thick brows. I'm not going to make them like hers entirely, just making mine a bit thicker. Then I'm taking my I'll Be There For You palette and using this shade right here. It's just kind of like a reddish coppery um, eyeshadow. It's a matte shadow. And I feel like that's all she used in the show. I do insert pictures. But yeah, I'm doing like a total of three makeup looks just so I can wrap up this look all together. Uh, because I don't think she does that much looks throughout the years. I mean, she's kept it pretty simple and it's, this is all about nostalgia, so. Right, so this is what I am doing. And then I'm taking a little bit of black eyeshadow here and running it on my upper lash line. Now you don't have to wear contacts, but she has really bluish green eyes. I would say more blue, um, but they're just so interesting. They have tints of green in it, like an aquamarine blue color. So I needed to wear those contacts just to make the look stand out a little bit more. And so it wasn't so repetitive from all the looks you guys have seen on my channel. I really appreciate all the supporters who have watched every single video and don't get frustrated with the variety of 90s looks that I do, but I do try to change it up. I try to incorporate uh, different models from the 90s, but this channel is all about nostalgia and the blast of the past. So yeah, I mainly focus more on the early 2000s and 90s because that's my favorite time period, but of course, I do go back to the 70s, 80s, and I've done a few 60s looks and pinup actually. Uh, but those aren't my favorite looks to do. These definitely are. So you just want to take a warmish peach blush for the cheeks. And you just want to take this heavy because if you look at her pictures, she wore a lot of that. And make sure that your face is really matte. I think I forgot to mention that, but make sure you keep your face nice and matte. Now for the lips. I am taking Spice by MAC. This is just like a ginger type of color on the lips. There's lots of ginger lip liners out there, so you don't have to use MAC if you don't believe in them. Uh, but yeah, I'm just lining my lips with spice and giving myself a bigger bottom lip. And then I'm using Leo by Jeffree Star Cosmetics for the overall lip color because I feel like that was the exact spice, pumpkin spice lipstick she was wearing in the Twin Peaks show and also in her modeling debuts. So here's the picture I referenced for, for the natural look. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit more dramatic from her more model-esque uh, picture. So the, this one, this look is from her modeling pictures and the first look is from the Twin Peaks show and a few other cameos she made in the 90s. But I did find this really cute picture of her. Uh, it's a photo shoot where she has this really thick black liner, but it's not with eyeliner like liquid eyeliner it's with eyeshadow i'm pretty sure because it's just super soft but dramatic at the same time 
so that is what i'm doing i'm just making the liner more thick you can use a card like this for precision i know i said precision but it's precision i don't know precision precision i don't care whatever it's late right now guys but whatever so yeah that is what i'm doing and just extending it outwards with this card no false lashes we're keeping this more natural but that is the second look for her modely picture for right here here's a good reference photo okay so that was the first two looks that she wears mostly in the twin peaks show and her modeling debut now for the third look this is my absolutely favorite favorite look that has been floating around on instagram on nostalgic pages and 90s lover pages which is the look she was having in the like beauty pageant contest whatever in season at the end of season two in twin peaks so all i'm doing is i just putting black liner on my lower lash line just keep the makeup as is and i'm just going to d deepen up the outer v just take a darker brown eyeshadow and that's basically all you want to do and just make the black liner darker and that is it oh wait you do line your waterline as well <laughs> um yeah so that is what i'm doing and i'm also taking a glitter and doing a circle right here in the outer corner if you look closely that's what she had you can use gems but gems never work for me so i just do this instead and then i'm taking this color called praise by tarte for that more glossy type of brown brick look and that is the makeup in the twin peaks show that she had that has been floating all over instagram and everyone's like who is that and like what show is this and it's twin peaks and she was in that pageant contest Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the hairstyle. It's really easy to achieve. Um, I'm just going to show you how to part your hair. This was a very popular hairstyle in the early 90s. So I am just taking my hair half up and making sure there's volume at the top and twisting it like so. It seems complicated, but it's actually really simple. And you're just gonna to wanna to take a butterfly clip and just clip that in place. I swear it's not rocket science, it's so easy, just like that. The part that's going to take some teasing and everything is doing the whole head. So if you have naturally curly hair, then you're almost done at this point, but just keep pulling on your hair. My hair is kind of too straight, but what I'm going to be using is my Foxy Bay um, marble wand right here. These are absolutely adorable. They're very aesthetically pleasing. This is a 25 millimeter, gives you that nice 90s curls, sometimes 80s hair. And on top of that, this wand is absolutely adorable. Like I said, I have a coupon code with Foxy Bay. It is Foxy Nicole. We'll save you 60% off any item on the site. That's insane. That's more than half off. So yeah, I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. But anyways, I am just going to use this wand all over my head to give myself curl and volume. These wands give you lots of volume. And it's going to give me the curls that she rocks in Twin Peaks in that certain episode and that certain scene. So I'm just going over all the pieces that are down on my head. If you want to make it easier, you maybe want to start off with not styling your hair and just curling it already from scratch and then styling it. And that might make the poof at the top more voluminous. But I just just did it this way just so you guys were able to see how I part it a little bit better I felt like if my hair was curled you guys wouldn't be able to see that I was twisting my hair so I just go over my entire bottom hair and I'm kind of holding down the curl as well to make them more uh, poofy I would say and I'm just taking more pieces and pinning them up because her hair was more voluminous now this is a process we are going to be teasing here in a bit but of course we want to get the whole head of hair all nice and curled i absolutely loved this look it was super iconic and i really would wear this to like a social event it was really cool now my hair is not as short as hers so all i did was i just scrunched it upwards and it, the teasing is going to make it look short you can use bobby pins to secure it but i'm also taking some pieces and pinning them up with the bobby pins having those pieces fall down taking this section right here flipping it upwards and pinning that as well and that's going to give you that really like early 90s type of hairstyle like i said my hair is not as short as hers so i just kind of scrunched it upwards like so made sure i teased a lot and that is going to give you pretty much almost the same hairstyle as her is not almost identical nearly identical okay well that is my i'm gonna just butcher her name magic amic 
Madchen Amick, look, I think that's how you say her name. Beautiful woman of the 90s, Twin Peaks actress. She, she plays Shelly in Twin Peaks. Not Really cool show. You guys should check it out. It's on Hulu. And yeah, this was my blast of the past and a lady's a lady from the 90s let me know which nostalgic lady you want to see next i know a lot of people were asking for gia so maybe we'll bring her next anyways i love you guys and i'll see you in my next nostalgic tutorial bye